Do you see any speed in my So, hand? ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to ask Seb to explain to us what is called a pig tractor. A pig tractor. Using pigs to perform the function of the machine vehicle we refer to as a, a tractor. Seb, what, what exactly is a pig truck? So, the idea here is we're taking advantage of uh, the pig's ability to dig. So, in the same way as a tractor digs and turns over the soil, you can use the nose of the pig to do the same thing. But there's a specific benefit, a number of benefits to this. One of the main diseases for pigs is worms. So if you have your pigs in the same place all the time, you'll get a lot of issues with worms, which means you have to clean your pen out every day and give your, your, your pigs dewormer, which costs a lot of money. Now here, I've got my pigs, every day they move on to clean land, they leave the, 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 the worm eggs behind, so we're reducing diseases. The other thing a tractor can't do, which a pig can do, is manure and urine, put the manure and urine on the land, so you're making the land richer. Okay putting their manure and urine as they go. The other advantage for the pigs, if you look in front there, where you see all that green grass, this was all green grass this morning. So they've eaten lots of green grass, which is good for them because it is uh, uh, good for me because it reduces my feed cost. My cost of feed is less because they've eaten all that green stuff. So really, it's, it's a way to clear the land, prepare the land for vegetables, which is, as soon as uh, you can see where the pigs have come from. Yes, this the, clear area. This clear area, they've come down to the end and now they're going back this way. Okay. As soon as they reach the end, we'll come in with the plow and just mix the soil nicely. All the manure and urine get mixed evenly in the, in the field and then we'll come and plant vegetables, no need to apply manure. Okay. So it's a way of improving the soil and reducing our work, which is also better for the pigs because they're moving away from their worms and parasites every day and they're getting the advantage of eating lots of green material without us having to cut and carry it to them. We just move the cage, it takes two people, one, one, one minute to move the cage and refill the water. You can see the water container here where they're drinking. Put the water there, and this is called a pig nipple. Okay. And as soon as they put their mouth on it, the water comes out. out. Mm -hmm. Nice terminology. Every day you move the cage. If it rains, we move twice. Friends, the pigs will make uh, like uh, a freak. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Sometimes, so, uh, sometimes even three times in a day. But literally, it takes two people a minute to move the cage and fill up the room. <laughs> So that's fertilization right there. That's the fertilizer. That's the fertilizer. Awesome stuff. <laughs> has done its work on this cleared site. The pig tractor has done its work on this cleared site all the way to that end. Now it's going to clear this other part. So the pigs will consume all of this green you're looking at here. It will all be put into the ground as urine and fecal waste, dung. So you notice the tap they are using to drink, it's called a nipple drinker. So the moment the pig puts its mouth there and presses the nipple, instantly the water comes out.
an efficient way of giving water to the pig so that you have minimum wastage of water.